Hi YouTube, it's Eric here from Bento Gaming. Um, this is our first video about Flesh and Blood. It's our first video in a long time. Uh, so it might be a little rusty in terms of uh, talking in front of the camera or uh, if there's any video editing at all. It might be a little choppy, rusty at that, maybe very amateur. Um, I'm gonna do my best. Like I said, it's been a while since we made a video. Um, so today we're going to talk about Flesh and Blood. There's been a lot happening in Flesh and Blood since the holidays. Um, so, quickly go through uh, what's happening uh, in store. Um, we'll be hosting our first skirmish event. Uh, actually, in fact, in fact, it was our first uh, organized play event, and this happens to be the skirmish event. So, this will take place this Sunday, March 7th, at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, because of COVID restrictions, so this will happen uh, on Discord. Um, the channel is the Flesh and Blood TCG Canada Community Hub. Uh, we already have it all filled. It's 32 players. It's going to be based on the Blitz format. So um, the hero is going to have 20 life points. It's going to be five rounds Swiss, and each round is going to be 30 minutes. So something really interesting done by uh, Legend Story Studios. Um, their original purpose of the skirmish event is uh, was to hope that this whole COVID thing would uh, would kind of bit better by now uh, we're hoping we can have some organized play available but uh, for some parts of the world it still has not uh, or will not be happening so we're doing this as an online thing just to start getting players playing um, and fully enjoy the game so what's gonna happen is players who participate who play at least one round Legend Story Studios is gonna I don't know how but they will be sending out participation prizes uh, what will that include? Uh, at this point, we don't know. It's just all speculation, so there's no point even going into it. Um, so, what we're doing in store is that the first place, they'll get the choice of the cold foil of the young heroes, they'll get a choice of a weapon, or a playset of foil art promos. Um, second choice, they'll get uh, one of the cold foil young heroes, and let me see, and they will get... Um, either the choice of cold foil promo or the set of full art promos, whatever is left after the first uh, first prize player picks whatever they whatever they want. Uh, third place, they're gonna get uh, three of the foil full art promos from the remaining pool, and then they'll get two booster packs. And then the fourth place, they'll get uh, two random foil full art promos and one booster pack. So that's, um, what we're gonna do with the skirmish events. So, what we're gonna do at Bento Gaming is we're gonna have our own little league. So, this is gonna be part one of the four events that we're doing. So, every Sunday, we're gonna do a tournament. Um, by the time we get down to the fourth week, it will be invitation only. So, the top four players of the previous tournament will get invited and we'll randomly do a raffle for um, another four players from previous tournaments. So we'll have a total of 16 players that will play in the last finale. And uh, that's where we'll uh, have some crazy prizes like the Crazy Brew. Uh, there might be some booster packs or boxes available, um, whatever we can come up with. Um, and of course the um, champions mats, etc., from the armory kits. So all of that will start happening this month and uh, it will be on Discord and it will be available to um, local players and uh, we'll open it up to the rest of Canada as we start to fill up the spots. So that's basically what's happening with um, our organized play events. So I'm just going to quickly touch on what, if you're watching this video and it's before the skirmish event, so I'm just going to quickly touch on what you need prior to the event, okay? You need to get your webcam, se webcam set up. Uh, make sure it's fit visual and audio is working. You might need some dice for the game. Uh, you might want to have a life tracker. Um, so what we've been seeing people using is a the Magic Companion app uh, where you can keep track of your life for the heroes. Uh, please be in the waiting room uh, in the Discord channel about 10 to 15 minutes prior to the event so we can uh, get everyone in there, make sure everything works and we'll start the round pairings right at 10 o'clock. Um, and please read the Blitz gameplay format. Uh, the link 
will be uh, in the comments or description below from Legend Story Studios. Be familiar with what it is, um, what happens after the time's up. There will be three rounds that you guys can figure out uh, if we can decide a winner. Uh, if not, it'll be a draw type of thing. So be familiar with the format. Um, next, product availability. Again, these booster boxes. So Arcane Rising is in stock as of the filming of this video. Welcome to Rav or Rave. Um, is being delivered either today or Monday, so we'll have it in a matter of days. Um, right now, first edition Monarch is sold out. Uh, we will have some loose packs available upon release in store. Um, Unlimited Monarch, we're accepting pre-orders. Um, we did secure additional stock, so we should be good. And Monarch Blitz decks, we're also accepting pre-orders. So if you are interested in those, please go ahead and pre-order yours. Um, not sure what's happening there is some other youtubers hyping it up that it's gonna change the game it's gonna change how we look at the previous uh cards from the two sets so at this point it, i don't know i think it'd be to your benefit to just pre-order just in case this comes out to be a hit set um so the news from uh legend story studio this week uh it dropped yesterday with TCG players sending out a mass email, marketing email, um, about the at-home release kit that they're doing. So, um, what this kit contains is one first edition Monarch booster box and the two cold foil promos. So, uh, the two cold foil promos will be a, I think it's the light instant and the shadow instant cold foil promos. Um, the artwork it should be on the screen for you. Um, if not, you can go to TCG Player and take a look. So they're selling it at $110 US plus $10 shipping. And if there's any taxes, you need to pay for it as well. Um, and they are only shipping to the US at the moment. So if you have a US address, by all means, uh, give it a shot. So they says they'll be posting the um, inventory up every day until it's sold out at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, try your luck. Um, another interesting news that dropped uh, yesterday, so for us to be last night, um, it's that LG, uh, LGS will be getting not uh, sorry. Let's, let me rephrase. Um, selected LGS, okay, will be getting uh, pre-release event kits. Uh, so this pre-release event will happen between April twenty-third to twenty-fifth. So each kit will contain. Uh, four booster boxes of the first edition Monarch and 16 copies of each cold foil promos so one pre-release kit is uh, should have enough supplies for 16 players to do a sealed tournament or sealed event uh, whatever you guys want to call it. and larger stores will get double kits so it will allow them to host a tournament on uh, Friday night and Saturday night or when doesn't be night whenever they want so Friday Saturday Sunday throughout the weekend uh, now, in terms of um, some of the qualifications, um, LGS did say that it will be based on uh, organized place events that's been hosted, um, sales data, etc. So I believe they are probably going to release the the list of stores that, that is eligible to be hosting this event probably sometime in April, I would assume. Um, now, it's really interesting though. So right off the bat on the page they they listed the three the, their some of the main goals of uh, flesh and blood and they really emphasize um three things or two things sorry players players and stores that support the community and organize play okay they did not mention about making lgs owners rich uh they did not say that uh will make investors rich their goals are for players and stores that support the game. So the first goal this has is to have players get to take part in great events. Second one, stores that support the community and organize play get the chance to host these events. And three, want as many players as possible across the world to get the chance to crack some packs and play flesh and blood. Very interesting. So I think they know uh throughout the supply chain 
there are some hoarding going on, uh, especially first edition stuff. Just because it's a limited print run, it's meant to be a. Mm, I think it's meant to be a collectible. Again, again, it's called first edition, so it's a very limited run. Um, so obviously, when you have something that's limited with high demand, value is going to go up. Um, so they recognize that there is some hoarding going on throughout the supply chain, and that's not their intention. Okay, they want people to be cracking these things so players can get a chance at cold foil. So kudos to them with the pre-release kit, um, letting stores host these events and. Uh, I mean, giving four boxes to 16 players uh, should be hopefully cold, four cold foils um, landing in players' hands just in one event. Um, so this is very also interesting. Near the end of the information page, they also wrote, we'll take a very dim view of things that we find instances of events not happening and products being sold at above MSRP. So they obviously know what's going on um, because in January, anyways, in the last couple months, uh, there were some policy updates in regards to the armory kits. So for those of you that are not aware, let me show you what these armory kits are. So these are the armory kits that we get um, for stores. So inside these armory kits, uh, we get the play mats to hand out. We have the promo cards to hand out. There are some event posters to advertise the game. Um, so what have been happening is stores are selling these things. Okay, that's a big no-no. That's not the intention of these kits. These kits do not belong to um, the owners of the LGS. Okay, they belong to the players. Okay, the community. They are to be handed out to the players. They are not for LGS owners to sell to make extra profit for their store or they can get bonus money from uh, Legend Story Studios. That is not their intention, okay? These are play, organized play events, um, prizes and um, uh, gifts to recognize um, sportsmanship, um, uh, people that uh, really uh, support the game and the community, okay? So they did change the policy saying store uh, LGS owners cannot sell these things. Uh, LGS owners cannot go out in the secondary market to purchase these things for the purpose of reselling them. So, yeah, so they don't like it. Um, they also strictly. Uh, okay, uh, back to where we're. Uh, sorry, so let's go back. Um, yeah, so they're not liking that stores are selling these. So now um, they have put up a MSRP price for what LGS can charge. Um, for this whole pre-release event. So we're looking at $30 US, 30 Euro, 30 uh, pounds, or 45 Canadian dollars, 45 Australian dollars, or 45 New Zealand dollars. Or their local currency of whatever US $30 is. So, which is nice because now um, it sets the bar. What is the maximum price stores can charge? And um, there should be no price gouging going on. I really like this direction where um, where LSS is kind of heading towards um, and I do believe um, by them doing this they might even start um, maybe reaching out to some of the players on uh, LGSS tournament reports to verify that the tournaments did actually take place they're gonna ask about uh, feedback they might even ask about um, the prices that they were charged for the entry fees um, and we'll see if any um, penalties gonna be taken when they find out um, LGS are not following the rules and start uh, price gouging their customers or the players because um, they are really focused on um, building that player base. So yeah, I'm, I'm really liking where this is going and uh, it'd be interesting to see if um, uh, what's going to happen with future first edition releases. So anyways, that's my thought on Flesh and Blood for, for this week. Um, some of the big news that dropped I thought I would share this with you um, just want to touch base with our Calgary players as well in terms of what's happening with the organized play um, so yeah so hopefully we'll have time to make more of these videos um, let me know what you think uh, we'll see you next time